Hello again. I want to share my Christmas mini album with you and tell you why I made it like this. Uh, all the images in uh, this album I scanned uh, from something I saw, saw from some years ago. And then I printed it out on photo paper. This album is uh, two different styles, themes, we mixed it to achieve a visual effect or contrast. And uh, Christmas is also about a king born into poverty. The grungy effect is symbolizing this. The poor little king was worshipped by rich travelers from the east who had foreseen his birth under a star. And they bought costly gifts for him. Sparkly, glittery effects is symbolizing this. By combining rich and poor in this album, I want to tell a story about people on earth. It is all about respect and peaceful coexistence, even if we are different. We are all both rich and poor in some way, and we have different beliefs and dreams. And uh, before I um, show you the album, I want to um, show you what I saw, so you have, um, um, yeah, you can look why I did like this and uh, the images. I have to take the camera off the tripod, so I don't make you too dizzy. This is a um, blanket I made for having under a Christmas tree. And here are the images. And these are bigger than in the album, so I scanned it down. And I also made um, a wall hanging. This one is not finished. But uh, the other one is finished. I'm going to try to back up a bit. It looks like this. Take a close up. And these are the travelers. In Norway we call, call them the three wise men. So I'm going to take the camera on my tripod again. <laughs> so and here you can see Maria and Joseph and Jesus and the lamb and some angels. And uh, on the angels I used the stickles and also for the star. In the back here I uh, ripped some paper to create uh, the wall. And uh, I just uh, ripped it like this and glued it on top of it, each other like this. So I wanted to create it as it uh, like a crib. So here's uh, now I can't remember what this is called. And I have some sand under here. And uh, here is the first page. In all um, pages, I created pockets down here. And um, here is just for some journaling or photos. And 
And this uh, paper was really fun to work with. It uh, looked like this. It's uh, glittery. And I stained it with uh, different uh, distressed uh, stains. And uh, here's another one. An eight chill and some stars. It opens like this, and I can have uh, photos inside here. Envelope to fold out, and some images I stamped. It opens for more photos. And the same on this side. And a star on the back. And I have a lot of stars in this uh, album uh, because I want um, to focus on the symbolize that we should follow our dreams. And here is a song, a star fall off. And uh, it says, uh, A child is born in uh, Bethlehem. And this is the same paper on both sides from this, which I stained. The next page. Oh, now I forgot to <laughs> look up what uh, this is called in English. No, it, it's uh, Hirder. But you know what I mean. And uh, here is an envelope. And this is really grungy. And um, I stamped an image and color it in with my Lindy's. And another little for just notes. This one I created from um, this paper here. It's really thin so I glued it on back paper and then stained it. And um, I have two clear acetate tags. And here is the first star. Next uh, page, it's the three cameos. And here I am symbolizing the ridge and um, I created this too from my cricket and it's uh, the iron. iron. Um, it's a ornamental iron it's called. So here is just for journaling and this opens like this. I can write something in here, like this, and this I also stamped and embossed and uh, color in uh, with my Lindy's, and I love to use my Lindy's to color in. It gets so sparkly and glittery. And um, next page. Where I called the three wise men or the travelers. Oh, I have a really problem when I'm gluing in on acetate. It um, seems to fall off. So if anyone has some ideas how they do it, please tell me. I also used the sticky tape, but uh, it seems to fall off. And this also I cut it from my Cricut. And that is from um, paper lace, and it opens like this. And uh, on all the images here, I, um, I used uh, stickles, and also for the gifts here. And the sand here, uh, I uh, made it my own by using a clothing helmet multimat 
and uh, some sand. And the next page is uh, Bethlehem. I hope I was in frame, I forgot to look. I go back again so you can see it. So, this one is Bethlehem. And this one I also cut out with my crickets. And that was from the ornamental iron. And this one. And here also I have some stars. And here the rich travelers again. And then um, behind here is a place for photo journaling. I use my glitter again, uh, elasticals. And this was from Wrap It Up. And um, this is from the ornamental uh, uh, iron. And it opens like this. A lot of stickles around. And it opens like this. And this is a quick cut die. And I stickled the star. And this is open so I can take a photo behind. And here are the last pages. I created a pocket on the side on this one. And this one I cut out from my steampunk die. I don't know if it shows. And some tree, I popped it up. And um, these labels are from Spellbinders. And here is also acetate. I curled some paper on. I can take a photo or some notes. And this is also from the ornamental iron. And I take behind. And this also. And here is the last page. Here's a pocket or an envelope. <laughs> and it opens like this. And a little card inside. I stamped and embossed and colored with my Lindis. And this one was really fun to work with. It's also a stamp. It gets, gets really shiny when you use the Lindis to color it with. with. And just plain on the back so I can place a photo there. And I popped up some birds. And this is a smaller one from the other I showed you with the acetate. Some stickles. And uh, here is just a clear acetate for photos. I didn't want uh, to, to cover up the images so much because when it comes photos in also it will be too much. So here I um, used my AccuCat um, uh, die to uh, spell out Go Yule. It's Merry Christmas. And here is the back and that is all plain and that I created in the, on the same time we're 
uh, ripping up some papers and glue them down. So this is my Christmas Mini and I'm working on another Christmas Mini right now. In fact I have uh, three projects. It's uh, I always get new ideas and I have to start on them. So it takes a lot of time to take uh, or to make one <laughs> Mini finished. So I wish you all a great day. Bye bye.